Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to hit the like button and hit the red subscribe button. This really does help my channel a lot and really keeps me going to make videos for you guys. So your support would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Before I begin, I just want to give you guys a quick disclaimer. Anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we are currently sitting at $942 billion. Uh, and, you know, the market BTC dominance currently sitting at is 41.5%. Looking at the overall markets, guys, you know, we are seeing some green across the board once again. But overall, you know, the green that we have seen over the past 24 to 48 hours, it has stayed. We have kept the game. And that's a very, very nice thing to see right now within the market. So clearly it was not a fake out, but still nothing to be getting too excited about right now if I am going to be quite realistic with you guys. But today, as I mentioned, some of the altcoins are in green and that's something we will definitely take another green day. We are okay with that, especially after having a major, major bloodbath across the board over the past, you know, two to three days. Some sort of green across the board, some sort of relief within the market is very much needed. But again, we're not out of the woods just yet. But today, guys, I want to talk about none other than one coin that has been making quite a bit of strides within the cryptocurrency space right now, outperforming the entire market by a big margin. And that's none other than Waves. All right, Waves Holder, if we are looking at the price right now, it is currently trading at $7.21, up 50.5% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. It's also up 50% in Bitcoin comparative and 52.6% in Ethereum comparative over the last 24 hours. Absolutely insane gains are being made within the Waves community. Rank is at the top 70th spot with a market cap of $720 million. And the 24-hour trading volume is $1.8 billion. That's absolutely insane. There's a lot of buying pressure coming in right now for Waves. So if you guys know what's going on with it, leave it in the link in the description box below. Well, we will check out the price today to see what is going on and where we could be going in the immediate short term. Looking at the bigger picture, guys, in just the last year alone, it is down 49%. Should not be coming as a surprise to any one of us. We are in a downwards momentum. But over the last 30 days, and most importantly, in the last 24 hours, it is up 49.5 percent very very nice to see but now let's get right into the exciting stuff the price to see what is going on and where could we be going in the immediate short term so as i mentioned to you guys waves is currently trading at seven dollars and eleven cents seven eleven uh but you know you can see since this initial drop uh, from this level of support, which was on May 11th at $12 price point, we have not seen the price of waves ha head back up to those levels. We have not seen it go back up to those levels. And now this level at that $12 and three cents is playing as a major level of resistance because before it was a major level of support for uh, the price of waves but right now it is playing as a level of resistance for us because you guys can see we did see the price of waves try to break out just uh, you know on june 1st at the beginning of this month but it was not able to do so and obviously you guys know what happened the price of bitcoin you know took a major major hit once again saw the price of bitcoin go below uh, seventeen thousand dollars, which really did create a lot of panic within the markets and Waves is not an exception. We saw it, you know, have a retracement once again, create a double bottom at that $3.98 and boom, another spike towards the upside. But now comes the question that everyone is talking about. Is Waves heading back to this price point at that $12 mark? Or are we going to retest this level of resistance that's i'm sorry level of support everyone is asking that question right now you know what this is the daily time frame let's bring out the hourly time frame so we get a better picture as to what exactly is going on so as you guys can see you know the price of waves 
did touch this level of support at the $4 price point back on May 29th and saw a major spike. So if you picked up some waves around here, you had, you know, a spike of about 186% from this price level. That was an almost 2x in a matter of, you know, a week or two. And, you know, that was a nice time to be buying up some waves. But obviously this market, if you're new to the markets, you guys are not prepared for these type of volatility to occur because, as I mentioned to you guys on a daily basis, Bitcoin is the king of the market's leading indicator. Bitcoin price tanks, everything is going to follow. And obviously, uh, Waves is not an exception. So we did see the price go down once again from that $12 price point to that $4.20 mark down 63.9% in a matter of just a couple days. But now once again, it created a double bottom. So after creating a double bottom, we have seen the price spike up once again. And if you manage to pick up some waves around here just on June 15th at that $4.14 mark, you are already up a nice steady, not steady, nice staggering 70% from those price points. So what is going on? Everyone is wondering, is the price of waves really going to break out of this level of resistance? This major, major level of resistance that is at that $12 price point. If I am bringing out the measuring tool for you guys, it's still right now currently away about 70% for us to retest this level of resistance. Is this possible? Let's look at the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been doing quite well right now. Uh, you know, we're still holding above that $20,000. We will definitely, definitely take that. We saw the price of Bitcoin go down to that $17,623 level, which I was talking about for quite some time that we could be testing. And we uh, tested that because the $22,000 level of support they now hold and the price of bitcoin did see a low of seventeen thousand and six hundred dollars for the first time ever since 2020 but since then guys we have seen the price of bitcoin you know go up about 15 percent. so definitely nice you know bounce back towards the upside after those levels especially after having such a major bloodbath across the board so that's definitely something nice to see but one thing to keep in mind right now is I am not getting excited right now because the price of Bitcoin still needs to be above $22,000 support level. We need to stay above there at all costs. As I mentioned earlier in my other videos, I don't care if the price of Bitcoin takes a month or two months to trade sideways as long as it's above that twenty-two thousand uh, dollar you know support level if it's not then we're still not out of the woods just yet and we could be in for more downwards momentum so i am not writing this off right now we could be in you know more downwards momentum to occur so i just wanted to put that out there for you guys i'm not just going to come here and say you know what guys we have absolutely seen the bottom the market is going absolutely to the top tomorrow definitely not the case as i mentioned in my other videos if you are a regular viewer on my channel you guys are already informed but you guys know what's happening around the world right now interest rates are absolutely going crazy we have seen inflation go through the roof and obviously a lot of uncertainty within the stock market and as you guys may know stock market and cryptocurrency market major major correlation with one another over the past two to three years and you know they have been impacted quite a bit but bitcoin is made as an inflationary hedge as i have mentioned and this is the time for bitcoin to shine and i do believe bitcoin is going to shine right now yes we are in a bear market as we speak but I do believe that this bear market is going to be short-lived because we are in a total different time compared to what we were back in the previous bull cycles. But again, it's just my own personal opinion, not financial advice. We will only see what happens as time goes by. But overall, everything is looking not so bad. BTC dominance, on the other hand, has continued to pull down quite a bit uh, from where it was uh, just not too long ago at 49%, almost 50% at just a last week and we have seen a major major drop in the btc dominance index causing the altcoins to out rally bitcoin which we have been seeing and obviously waves is one of them but right now one thing to keep in mind is that the 24 hour trading volume for 
Waves is absolutely insane. It's more than double its market cap. So that really goes to show there is a lot of hype building up, a lot of FOMO building up. So we could see the price if the price of Bitcoin does not go too crazy in the next 24 to 48 hours. I do continue to see waves climb up in its price. Uh, but if we do see some sort of volatility within the price of Bitcoin, we could be in for some downwards momentum for waves. But if you bought some waves around here, guys, lock in some profits. I cannot stress this enough. Lock in profits. Even if you're in for the long haul, lock in profits because market is going to correct. You know, there were people saying, you know, waves is going to go absolutely to all time highs around these levels just on June 1st. But look what happened to the price. And that can happen once again. We can have a you know, double top and boom, we could be rejected and, you know, Bitcoin could see another flash crash. And guess what? Waves will go down once again with the market. So lock in profits while you can. So when it drops to these levels again, you could be picking some up or scale some of your percentage out. But again, this is just a tip to you guys, but you guys do what works for you. Uh, but if we are looking on staking rewards, 47.66% of its circulation supply is being staked right now. So that's definitely something nice to see. If you're in it for the long haul, you might want to consider staking it, earning passive income and making your staking, um, I'm sorry, your holdings larger as time goes by. But that is it for today's update, guys. Let me know in the comment section below where you could see the price of waves go. And do you really think it can test this level of resistance at that $11.97 mark? Let me know in the comment section below. Do not forget to hit the like and um don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And let me know if you guys want me to cover waves more often. I love you all. See you guys tomorrow. It's been CryptoZX and peace out.